Good morning, Patriots. It's Tuesday, October 22nd. I'm Ian Powers, and here's what's happening at A-Town today. Just a reminder about the upcoming Red Cross blood drive that's taking place here at Albemarle on Tuesday, October 29th from 9 a.m. to 2.30 p.m. There are still a few spots still open, so, if you, so see Mr. Lyons to make an appointment. Hey, do you love trivia? Do you love showing off the size and functionality of your exquisite brain? Do you want to represent your school in a way that doesn't involve getting tackled or hit with a stick? then the Scholastic Bowl might be exactly what you're looking for. Compete with your peers, sharpen your knowledge, and showcase your skills in this fast-paced, exciting competition. Scholastic Bowl is a battle of the minds, where students answer questions on everything from history and science to pop culture and literature. The team is especially looking for underclassmen to join. So if you're in 9th, 10th, or 11th grade, come to room 272 and check in with Mr. Sukovich if you need more info. Practices are every Monday after school, so go check it out. It's election time, and A-Town Today reporters Andrew Smith and Enrique, Enrique Rodriguez reached out to a local candidate who hopes to become the 5th District Representative in Congress. Miss Gloria Witt came to A-Town to talk with Andrew about policy positions and education. Here's part one of that discussion. Good morning, A-Town. I'm Andrew Smith from A-Town Today, and uh, today we're going to watch an interview that I conducted with the Almoral Revolution with a congressional candidate, Gloria Witt, who is a Democrat, uh, but we do not endorse her or her opponent, John McGuire. Um, we did attempt to try to do an interview with John McGuire, but he actually kind of left us on red. Um, so this is all we could get. Uh, she was really happy to do, to do an interview, interview with us, and we don't, again, we don't endorse her uh, or affiliate with her, her campaign. Um, so. Let's go and see the interview, and I hope you enjoy it. All right. Um, so thank you for being here. Well, thank you um, for the invitation, Andrew. Yeah. Um, what would you like me to call you, uh, Gloria Witt, Miss Gloria. Witt? Gloria. Gloria, OK. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Gloria Tinsley Witt, and I'm currently the candidate for a 5th District House of Representative uh, role on the ballot. Uh, mm -hmm. But in my day-to-day -day work, I'm a small business owner for Define Success Coaching and Facilitation Services. So there have been a lot of stories about um, book censorship, mm -hmm. you know, and that's, that's <laughs> kind of controversial. So we were wondering what your views on that issue may be. I consider this whole idea of book banning as a culture war. Um, mm -hmm. Books, in my opinion, should be available based on the appropriate age. And when you think about books in a school environment, I like to think that I trust uh, the professionals to mm -hmm. understand the roles as librarians, and they would make the right choices for our children. So can you tell us about you know, your own experience as a high school student? Well, and this is another thing I noticed uh, in high schools. And what I've noticed in school is when I was going to school, I would almost, I don't know, really be sick to miss a day in school. Because for me, it was an environment of belonging, of excitement, of meeting my friends and learning. And it was interactive. And I think somewhere along the way, and I think maybe in our efforts to elevate performance, we have taken the joy out of school. Mm -hmm. School has almost become, um, I don't know, it's like you show up, you sit down, you grind, grind, test, grind, grind, test, grind, grind. It's like, where's the joy? It's no joy for the teacher and it's no joy for the young person. And I think probably, and I'm just anecdotal, but I really think that a, a lot of young people are struggling because in the school they have no opportunity to connect with their friends. I think we need to look at the curriculum and mm -hmm. kind of relax some stuff and create joy again for, for the teacher and for the student. I could be dead wrong, but that's what my instinct tells me. Well, thank you for watching that interview. I hope you learned a thing or two uh, about Gloria Witt and her educational policies. Um, again, there will be a link to the full interview on our YouTube page, and uh, if you want to read the article about it, it will be on the Almar Revolution's website. 
Um, again, we don't endorse or affiliate with these organizations. Um, this was just purely just to inform you guys about educational policies. And, uh, well, I hope you enjoy that. Uh, this has been. And now here's Diani with a sports update. News today. Tonight is senior night for our volleyball and field hockey teams. Come out and honor the seniors on this team as they play their final games of the regular season. Here at AHS, volleyball will serve it up in the big gym with JV starting at 5.30. Field hockey will be out on the turf at the starting time. Basketball conditioning is canceled for you guys due to the volleyball games in the gym. Now that's all. See you tomorrow at 8 town today.